Hello folks, the upcoming release of NVIDIA's RTX 40 series of graphics card has been heavily speculated about for quite some time. A new leak suggests that the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 will operate at a base clock speed of 2235 MHz. Boost clocks are set at 2520 MHz and could go as high as 2750 MHz. Over the past few weeks, a steady stream of leaks has emerged about about NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 4000 series of graphics cards, including the amount of VRAM, CUDA cores and TGP. Unlike last time, when GeForce RTX 3080 was the first card out of the door, NVIDIA is slated to launch the top-of-the-line GeForce RTX 4090 before others. Prolific leaker Copter 7 Kimi has posted new information about the flagship graphics card. It seems that the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 will operate at a base clock speed of 2235 MHz, about 60% higher than the GeForce RTX 3090 1395 MHz, and boost clock is 49% higher. It can boost up to 2520 MHz and even 2750 MHz under certain workloads. That's indeed a noticeable upgrade over Ampere series. Raymond55 chimes in stating that further improvements are possible, tacitly implying that future models could even cross the 3000 MHz milestone. That will likely be reserved for the eventual GeForce RTX 4090T or a model using the full AD102 GPU, although some manufacturers will undoubtedly tune their RTX 4090 variants to hit 3 GHz. Given that RTX 4090 has a rumored 16384 CUDA core spec configuration, this means that with said actual Actual clock speed of 2750 MHz, the card's compute performance could reach 90 teraflops in single precision workload. That's almost exactly twice as high as RTX 3090 non-TI. Other NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 specs include 24GB of GDDR6X VRAM on a 384-bit bus, 16384 CUDA cores and a TGP of 450 watts. Oh yes, those watt spikes will Fry your 750 watt PSU. I cannot wait to hit the whole house with one single RTX 4090. Exciting times. On the other hand, there were previously rumors about 800 watts at all. In any case, such insane heat output requires some kind of insane, exotic card cooling system for the cards. That may yet come to pass for the final release models, but these pictures are based on recent leaks that purport to show the engineering sample coolers for the GeForce RTX 4090 Ti. The images come from YouTube channel More Slow is Dead. The cooler design in these renders is based on the GeForce RTX 3090 cooler with modification inspired by the leaked images from China. Essentially, it's the GeForce RTX 3090 cooler extended to 3.25 slots. Such a thing sounds impractically heavy to us and would essentially require a stand in any tower case, but it does sound like quite a potent GPU cooler. Copit also reiterates the previously shared specs on RTX. RTX 4080 and RTX 4070. Each model is to feature a different GPU, either AD103 for RTX 4080 or AD104 for RTX 4070. It looks like RTX 4080 will feature 256-bit memory bus and 16GB of GDDR6X memory clocked at the same speed as RTX 4080. Meanwhile, RTX 4070, which supposedly has 7160 68 CUDA cores, according to the latest rumors, would have 160-bit wide memory bus and 10 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Nvidia is now expected to unveil its RTX 40 series around September or October this year. Initially, only these three models are to be launched, with mid-range RTX 4060 coming next year around CS 2023. However, sources expect some dates to change because AABs still have lots of RTX 30 in left. And the last thing they want is to envy the announce a new generation. Also, note that the announcement date has not yet been officially confirmed, so we'll have to wait a little longer for official news. And I hope you stay with us. Thanks for watching, good luck everyone!